Hey guys, it's Kralos. Welcome back everybody to Farming Simulator 19. Just sit back, relax and enjoy. And if you guys do enjoy this, make sure you give this video a like and also leave some nice feedback in the comment section. But um, ladies and gentlemen, in between episodes, <laughs> the forest has grown. And oh, oh my goodness, this is going to be an absolute nightmare to cut down and remove all those trees. Yikes! Um, but I'm hoping it's gonna be profitable for us. I did cut down one row, which consists of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine trees. Uh, I did load them on the trailer over here. So I guess this is gonna be a little bit of a benchmark on how much money we're gonna make on the whole forest operation. And it's gonna be grindy. It's gonna be super tedious. But for some strange, odd reason, I find this super satisfying and relaxing. Uh, am I going crazy? Yeah, I'm going crazy, I guess. Let's go to the sawmill. Oh no! First things first. Mindra! In uh, in the previous episode of Farming Simulator, we bought a new field and using a forage harvester, we harvested some chaff from corn, which has now transformed into silage. And I did compact this in the previous episode, however, I did forget to cover it up because uh, I didn't know you, that's a thing. But there was a thing, you guys told me that in the comment section, so now this is covered up and we have, to be precise, 85,000 units of silage, which is not too shabby. We can use that either to feed our animals, the cows, that is, or sell it. And I believe you can sell it in two places. You can sell uh, the silage at the barn, and I believe at the biogas plant. The only problem here with the biogas plant that I think you need to own this, and to buy the biogas plant, it is 769,000 bucks. Ugh, that is money I don't have. I guess I could buy something cheaper next doors and then using like conveyor belts. Because the thing about that, like, if you don't own the place, you can't unload your trailers. So I guess we could take like a like a like a front loader with a bucket and going back and forth, but that's just not gonna happen. And also in between episodes, I did a little road here because it was driving me absolutely nuts not having access on the side. So now we have a little derpy road, like a so. I guess that is not too shabby. It's uh, convenient enough. And also I've made a little ramp, uh, not the best of ramps, but it is a ramp. Uh, we do have a little bit of, of fencing over here, just to protect ourselves from falling down. And you know what, this landscaping tool they've implemented, Giants, I love you. Like, this is such a game changer, like, it just makes this game, I don't know, it just makes the farms more, like, customized, personalized, I guess. Don't ask me why, but we have a little beautiful fence in front of the house. Uh, can I, oh, cannoli, and <laughs> place a sandcastle. Who is a good girl? You a good girl. Oh, she's beautiful. Let's just feed cannoli. And what I'm going to do, uh, you know what? Uh, the horses already, yeah, did grind in between episodes. Believe me, take a peek at this. We have uh, cows. They have 16,000 liter milk, slurry, and manure. 25,000 liters. Holy crap, it's a lot of poop. Then we have the horses are completely done. So we're going to sell them, get the BMW, go to the, to the, to the animal dealer, and sell some horses, and then I'm gonna order myself an Uber, and I'm gonna go to Carlos, because I did grab something before this episode started, which I really want to check out. Uh, Illusion, Applejack, Rambo, Epona, Unity, Robin, Joker, and Oblivion. Oblivion, and Illusion. You coming with us. Perfect, perfect. But, oh yeah. Fong, 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 fong. So let's just jump in in our beautiful Beamer, close the back door, start the engine, turn on some lights. And animal dealer, here we here we come, I guess. And I know you don't have to drive them back and forth, back and forth, but for me, I like it. I, I really do like this. And and I get the chance to drive the beamer. Because I never do that. This is more like a Sunday car, like a Sunday drive with Mr. Knuckles. And let's sell our beautiful Oblivion and Illusion. Confirm, please do. And now, you know what? Enough of role playing, okay? Close the button. No, 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 actually not. Let's buy two more horses. Let's buy the gray and the pinto because we can. I know pinto is actually a thing in Portuguese. Applejack, Rambo, Epona, Unity, Robin, and Joker. Sell, sell, sell. And horse paddock, please do. Let's buy Palomino, Chestnut, Bay, Black, Seal Brown, and Dun, Dun, Dun. Perfect. So we have 407k. It is still not enough. Uh, to buy the, to buy the, what you gonna call it? What is it called? The biogas plant up here. But uh, it doesn't matter. One day, ladies and gentlemen, one day it will be ours. We have Capusta, Spirit, Kramer, King, Harley, Umbra, Ranger, and Nevada. Look at those majestic creatures. 
So what I'm going to do, I'm going to call myself an Uber, and then I'm going to go to Carlos to check out the new thing which I grabbed just before this episode started, and maybe even purchase that, because we've got cash. Come on, we got cash, right? Cash are just meant to be spent. So, yeah, let's call an Uber. Hi, Carlos. Hey, Keralis. Welcome. So, ladies and gentlemen, I've grabbed myself new trucks. You might be like, oh my goodness, he's going to waste the cash. I have cash. Let's waste it. I've downloaded the Mazes, the former Soviet Union truck. Uh, today would be Belarus, because it does stand for Minsk Automobil Zavod. And for those who played Battlefield 4, you know everything about Zavod. That was one amazing map. I believe Zavod uh, is like, what, factory or plant in Russian? But this one comes in three versions, and I don't know, I think I only have two. Maybe I forgot to enable one of those. But it, uh, there's this one, which is pretty much just a trailer connection. We have this, which is a little bit of like a flatbed. Well, not really a flat, but you know what I mean, right? And there's one which is like a log carrier. But uh, I have not enabled that, it seems. But man, you might be like, you're going crazy. No, this is a part of my childhood. I will tell you a story very, very soon. I'm going to get this one. You might be like, don't do it. I'm doing it. 64K, wasted. What a beauty. You might be, Keralis, that is one butt ugly looking truck. Uh, yeah, you might be right. I don't think they're made to be pretty. It's pretty much a workhorse, made to be cheap and semi-reliable, I guess. Let's just jump in. How does it look? <laughs> yeah, it's pretty cheap. Engine? You know what, after playing uh, a lot of spin tires, this definitely brings back memories to that game. Take a pick of this pipe, this exhaust pipe, and the fumes! It's, um... It's, it's not bad. And you know what I'm gonna purchase for that? I'm gonna buy one more thing. Like, I wish there was another, like, log trader for that, a more suiting one. Uh, let's get ourselves... Uh, zzz, 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 low loaders. I grabbed um, this one over here. There's two versions. There's this one, which you could, like, uh, load equipment on. The problem with this one is a little bit annoying, because I think what this does... Um, I think it kind of disconnects over here. Then you drive up on your, with your vehicle, and then you connect back the, the back part again. Something like so, I think. But this one has those in the back which just unfold. And let's paint it to kind of fit... Uh, crap, how does this look? It's not really black now, is it? Nah, it's more gray, gray blackish. Yeah, because the black is just going to be... Or the jet is just going to be too, 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 like, too black. Let's go with that and rim color. Let's go with the same. Because why not? Oh, crap. We have uh, possibilities. Uh, Will Brand knocking on Michelin. Let's go Michelin. Wheel set up. Uh, it comes without wheels. Okay, that's going to be a little bit awkward. Or maybe you do. Okay. <laughs> Perfect. I've <laughs> done it. And what is that? Okay, that's kind of like size or no size up there. Let's go like so. It's pretty. It's pretty. Buy. 40k. I'm wasting it. We're going, to be, we're going to be using that quite a bit in the future. Yeah, that is definitely the color to go for. How is that like? Let me see here. Wheel color. Is it... <laughs> look at the look at the, the dashboard. There's a lot of green lights. I guess as long as that's green lights, so we should be happy, right? And let's uh, see. You know what we look? We look like a Russian uh, military vehicle now. Just, uh, just a tank, tank missing in the back, and uh, we're good to go. Yeah, this really brings me back to my childhood. Okay, storytelling with grass. So I was born in Poland, and uh, when I was about five, I've moved to Sweden, where I currently live. But every single summer. I went back to Poland to spend the time during the summer school holidays uh, with my grandparents. And my granddad, he worked in a local sawmill in Poland. And there's two Polish truck manufacturers, or there was two Polish truck manufacturers, which really, really resembles this one. There's Stad, which was produced in Starachowice, Poland, which is about 20 kilometers from the, from the sawmill where my granddad uh, worked in a place called Zagnańsk. 
And there's Yelch, which was produced in Yelch Laskowitza town in Poland. They're very creative with the names now, aren't they? But anywho, both the tracks do really resemble this one. And uh, my granddad always brought me to the sawmill. You know, all the trucks coming in with like huge trees and stuff. So yeah, that's why it kind of like, you know, it has a special place in my heart. It's kind of like those old, rough Eastern European trucks. Love them. Let's -a go. However, before we go, is there anything falling off on the side? Uh, well, it could be better, but I guess it is what it is. Uh, Kenworth, you beautiful piece of machinery. It's been nice uh, knowing you. No, I'm not going to sell it. I'm just going to try the, the Maz. So let's just park this guy. I do like this, like the, the dashboard, like it lights up. Dude. That is uh, that is really neat. But just listen to this beast. I'm not sure this is a thing. Okay, it works. So the thing is, uh, we can either go to the sawmill, which is over here, far, far in a galaxy, or we can just go to the biomass heating plant, which is just around the corner. However, I am not sure there's going to be a price difference between those places. You know what? We've got nine trees. Let's sell them over here. And next uh, shipment, we're going to sell it over here in the sawmill. I'm going to see if there's a price dis difference. There might not be, but, uh, well, time will tell. <laughs> I'm a little bit scared, to be honest. Because um, cause of my of my route here, the landscape route is a little bit wonky. So far, uh, so good, I guess. <laughs> I love my dirt fence. Oh my goodness, we are struggling. As I remember them uh, from the sawmill in Poland, um, they didn't really have a trailer like this. They had, um, crap, what are you going to call it? English Corral is English. Uh, something just similar to like a dolly or something. Still like with the log supports and stuff, but uh, just a little dolly in the back. This is just too modern for the task, I guess. But holy crap, we're making it. Like, uh, this is like a, a hiking route. This is not a vehicle transportation route. But for those who play in spin tires, this would be a highway compared to that game at some points. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping nine trees uh, is going to give us this is, uh, how much you guys think this will be. I'm hoping at least like 40k. 40k, I, I would be happy with 40k. Let's just park it like over here. And let's see. That is 50k. And boom. Ooh. Thank goodness for the hard hat. That is 50k, that is 9. That is 59k. 59.5k, I believe. Fifty nine and a half k, equal foley. I don't believe that's a crap ton of cash. I was hoping for forty. I would be happy with forty. We get so much more. Let us uh, just park it over here, like a so, like a so. Engine off. So fifty nine point five k. We do have. Uh, okay, let's count with this one. One, two. 3, 14, 15, 16. Um, so let's do 16 times what? 59, just to make it a little bit easier. That's 940, 944,000 bucks. 940, that's almost a million bucks, including that, that row we just cut down or delivered. Holy smokes. That is a million. Almost a million. That is going to be well worth it. But that's gonna take out like it's gonna take hours and hours and hours and hours. But it is fun. Don't get me wrong. Might get bored after so many trees, but it's definitely fun. The only thing I'm afraid of is workers uh, working in this field at this stage uh, because of the landscape we've done. Uh, they ain't the brightest AI in any game I've seen. So at some point they will screw this up. 
Hopefully not. But, uh, but we'll see. Yeah, what I want to do, I want to take up uh, a contract into this episode. I also want to get in, um, into the milk business. So we need a milk trader. So we need to go over to Carlos and buy one of those. But uh, let's uh, see which contract we've got. I've seen 82k. Potatoes. Field number eight. No, 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 no. The, no. No, 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 never, never. I'm doing that. I did, I did potatoes in a contract a few episodes ago, and I believe it was, was potatoes or was it something else? No, it was potatoes. It was field number five, and hands down, it took about five hours in real life. And this field is much, much, much bigger. Even if you hire somebody, like it just fills up in no time. You're just going back and forth to the to the grain elevators. Not, not happening. But um, what else can we do? Crap, a lot of harvesting. I've never done one of those. Ooh, Billy Bob Bob, whoever that is. Take it easy. I've never done one of those. That's 54 harvesting. Potatoes, no. Well, see, this is what I mean. They pay a crap ton of potatoes because it's a pain in the butt. Ooh, 48. Sugar beet. I like the ropa. The ropa was amazing. Uh, but no, 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 no. I've never done one of those tra transport contracts. Dennis Jenkins. Transport company, okay. Then we have Water Tower. From Water Tower to the dam. I be damned, I've never been at the dam. You know, why, didn't, why not? Where, where the crap is the dam even? Uh, not here, you fool. Oh, it's over here. Okay, so that, that is the dam. So we need to pick up stuff at the water tower, which is kind of like in, in, in the city or in the, in the village and deliver that all the way to the dam. So let's pretty much pick this up. Uh, we could go off-roading as well. Off-road over here, going through up to the animal dealer in the backstages, then off here, out here and all the way to the dam. By the way, does anybody know this? Because uh, this is the field we bought yesterday, right? So I did uh, plant uh, corn on it. However, there's weeds in between. I guess the weeds would interfere if you want to harvest the corn. I just want to have the chef, and I'm not sure the weeds are going to interfere. It is fertilized to 50%, however, because of the planter we're using. It has the automated uh, fertilization option as well, so that's kind of cool. But uh, yeah, I'm not sure we need to get rid of the weeds. Hopefully not, because otherwise that's going to be a pain in the butt. Uh, I don't think I've been here. I guess it's a first for everything. There's the water tower, and um, do you guys think it is... Uh, okay, turn off the loud monster. Okay, that's gotta be. I can't lift them now, can I? Uh, pretty much no. But don't worry about anything, because we do have quite a plenty of cash, and what we could do is maybe even purchase... Uh, the, the skid loader, that is something I really wanted. This is nice. You know what they say? One man's trash is another man's treasure. What do we have? Uh, well, trash, pretty much. Let's uh, let's go to Carlos and let's buy one of those skid loaders. <laughs> the thing about this, this truck, I love the sound. I do love the sound, but it kind of feels like it's struggling at all points. And I don't, I don't know why. Um, let's do... Something like so. Stop it. Uh, which button was that? Unfold this uh, like a so. Engine off. And Carlos. Uh, oh, by the way, you know that, that what they added to the game? Or introduced to the game? Uh, is it medium tractors, maybe? The Lamborghini is back. It is not as, as nice, but I remember having this one. Uh, maybe not even this one. Yeah, I think it was this one in FS15. At the end of the day... It is a Lambo. Trattori. We have two to choose from. And I've been thinking about those. Like, this one looks more beastly because of the tracks it's got. However, the speed is only 12 km per hour. And this one is 18. It might not be much of a difference, but it is. 74, 61 horsepower. Like, I mean, think around a farm. This is going to be the wiser choice to go for. It's only 45k. Should we do it? Red or, you know what, I don't think red and yellow goes that nice together. So let's just go with this. Boom. What else do we have? High dump bucket. Okay, kind of want one of those as well for it. The bale spear. This is going to be so useful for us. Even my new forks. 
Bale Handler, Stump Grinder, Brush Log Fork. Is that... It's a tree saw. Like it's, well, the saw of some type at least. And even this. But this is a better choice because this is a, a tree hugger at the same time. Man, I didn't know the skill stairs uh, had this stuff like this. I'm not gonna buy anything else uh, be because of reasons. So we do have the pellet fork and we do have this beauty. <laughs> this is nice. I mean, it's so tiny. Ah, this is cool. Does it have a horn? And this is the one of those who has like a, an amazing turning radius, doesn't it? Oh yeah. We could pretty much turn on a dime. Okay, I'm getting dizzy. Don't worry, I'm getting dizzy. Yeah, I'm getting dizzy. Holy crap, I'm getting old. Uh, this is nice. This is gonna be so such a versatile vehicle to have at the farm. Because it is it is fast and agile. Agile. Maybe the red would not be a bad choice for it. We might we might repaint that at home, I guess. Yeah, this is nice. <laughs> it's so tiny, man. It's so tiny. Okay, a load this up, I guess. I'm not sure you can fasten the belt uh, having this on, but we'll see. Because obviously it's a modded trailer. So I'm not sure it's going to recognize the vehicle as, as, as a vehicle. I guess we can park it like, like a saw. Like a saw. Like a saw. Engine off. And can I belt this guy? Uh, well, I could, but it does not really work. Okay. So what we need to do is drive carefully. I'm a little bit scared because uh, we, I've had problems with uh, with the Ford and the PJ trailers before. It's it's very easy to can like um, to flip. I've not yet flipped, but I've been very close many, 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 many times. So far, I am I'm super happy with this little purchase. I think it's gonna be a super handy vehicle to have at the farm. And I mean, for that for that a small amount of cash. We fine. Okay, easy, steady, and off we go. So, um, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna try to do that at least. Uh, well, lights off, I guess. Uh, let's try to. Uh, door. Can I? Can I find a hole? Yes. I'm gonna try to stack those guys. Um, I guess that is how a professional would do, right? Uh, or maybe not. Well, maybe. I'm not a professional, however, but ooh, that's too far back. Go back, go back, go back, go back. Uh, go, blah, 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 blah. Okay, that's... No, 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 no. There, there we go. Uh, should we stack them more? Nah, I think this should be fine, right? Okay, I can't really see anything. That's the downside. Ooh, take it easy. Man, the turning rate is incredible. Uh, okay, there's a little bit of a bump situation here. So let's take it easy. Let's lift them up. Okay, I don't want to get that in my face, however. Okay, this is, <laughs> this is, this is nerve-wracking, holy crap. Uh, okay, put it down, put it down. Like a soul, uh-oh, uh like a soul. The thing is, can I strap it? Yes, I can. Okay, this is amazing. So two straps, like a soul, and then this should be in place pretty much, right? And then let's grab the remaining two and be... Okay, what the hell happened with those? I can't see him. There we go. Um, you know, sometimes this game just gives me the jibby-jibbies. It's like ghosts. I don't touch, like the tree episode not long ago. Like the treetops just floating about. And now those pallets moved. Let's just push it. Don't worry. I've done this so many times. Okay, that was a little bit dangerous, I guess. But uh, we're living on the edge. I guess, is this how a professional would do? Like, if anybody is looking to hire like a, like a forklift uh, driver, you know what? You know where to find me, okay? Dangerous, so dangerous. Easy, 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 easy. Perfect. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't want to brag about this, but uh, this was fairly, fairly nice. 
Can I strap it? Um, yes, I can. That is awesome. Okay, maybe just bring that down a little bit. I mean, we are strapped. Can I strap more straps? No, that is kind of outside the box, I guess. But hey, you know what? I, I, just in case. I, I know nothing bad is going to happen. Well, maybe. No, you know me. But if I would just move that forward a little bit, then maybe I can have two straps on this as well. To about here? Let's see. Boom. No, no, no. Boom and boom. Okay. We are stuck together. We should be safe and sound. We should. Uh, will we? Well, time will tell. Let's just check the map quickly. So what did we say? We're going to go off here and then in the turn. We're going to do off-roading. Then next to the lake where the car is, underneath the train tracks, up at the animal dealer. And yes. That is what we're going to do. And nothing should fall off. I mean, uh, the pads are safe to secure. And uh, the, the skid loader should be stuck in the pallets. Hopefully. Okay. Uh, no brakes, no brakes. Don't worry. There's a little mailbox here. I don't think this is the wisest choice I've made today, but... Uh... Okay. Skid loader seems to be stuck as well. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, my skid loader is, um, is falling off. But I'm gonna save it. With this guy. <laughs> what, what an idiot. <laughs> yeah, Mahindra. Mahindra on this would have done wonders. Um, the Ford, not so much. And only, I'm not even sure we can climb this, this hill over here. Because this guy is struggling. But... Um, I think we can make it happen. So he's just unloading it on the little spot over here. I see, I see, I see. But you know, before we unload, let's just check out this place. Um, can I even do this? Yes, I can. Okay, stop it. Boom, engine off, you obnoxious beast. And... Oh. Man, this is nice. So let me just see here, the map itself. Um, there's even little lakes up here as well. There should be more AI around the map. Now now we have a few people walking about at the beach and some cars driving a big like pre-made uh, routes all over the map. But other than that, I wish there was more, more people. Uh, I don't think this is the way down. Is there a way down? There's a little stuck here, Chris. Yeah, 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 I see it. Okay, uh, jump over the fence. Okay, we are making this uh, a thing. This is our area, which I would just slide down, hit my head over here, and die. But uh, not in game. Yeah, this, I mean, it's impressive, but it's just so deserted. There's literally nobody over here. This game just likes fishing. Like, that would be such a game changer. Can you just imagine, like, working on the farms the whole day and then just relaxing in the evening by fishing some? That would be nice. But let's head back and unload uh, our pallets and then we need to go back to Carlos and buy ourselves uh, a milk trailer. And I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be super brave. Uh, okay, this might fail. This might fail. Carlos, don't do it. What if we would do an epic delivery on this? Put down. Easy. I've done this many, 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 many times before. No, I haven't. So this is the first one. But I guess we can just push the stuff in the in the into the area in case we really screw this up. Oh! Oh, by the way, can I? Oh no 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 no. Okay, that is a thing. Good to know. That's gonna be definitely a time saver in the future. Uh, this is not gonna go well. I feel it. In my fingers, I feel it in my toes. 
Because now we need to adjust that going down the slope. And this guy is tipping a little bit as well. How the crap? No, 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 no. No! Uh, you have not seen anything. Uh, I had an idea, but for some reason it went good from the beginning and then we got all of a sudden super back heavy or front heavy. So this should be the last one. Um, there's one upside down, but nobody minds. Put it into the ring of fire and transport is finished. Which means I can complete the mission, I can head back home, I can collect my prize and then buy a milk trailer. I feel so American, man. I feel so American. It's amazing. We need a new truck. I I love this truck. Don't get me wrong, but it's so 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 loud. I I I can't hear myself thinking. That is how loud it is, and it's just obnoxious. But uh, you know what? I'm happy we got uh, the little guy in the back over there. Oh, by the way, I need to kind of connect it, right? Let me see. Zip 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 zip. Connected. And lower those guys. This is a little bit tedious because you do that by hand, kind of ish, with the mouse. And bam! Perfect, perfect. One thing which I really want to do is get all the accessories to the skid loader, like the bait spike. I mean, that is going to be a complete game changer having. Uh, how do we do this the easiest way? Like I saw. Uh, cannoli, watch out, baby girl. Oh, I think that guy's done. Well, it should be. It's been like forever. <laughs> Since he started, uh, we need to attend to that matter. Yeah, like having all the like small bits and pieces for this, it's gonna be incredible. Like I do see this little piece of uh, this little piece of red. It might look uh, kind of nice having that modified, customized, and having the red color. Ooh, it's really red. Yeah. Free of charge? Let's just check this out. It might even look better. It's definitely gonna pop out. We're gonna find them more easy. Yeah. That is... That is nice. I... Um, I like it. And now, let's just park it somewhere over here. <laughs> it's so agile. Boom, boom, engine off, and out we go. Perfect. Uh, what else? Yes, uh, we need to get to town. And I'm thinking, like, um, what is that bird doing even? I don't know. So we have two to choose from. We have this one, which is 8,000 liters. It takes milk and water. And we have this one. This is mainly for trucks, right? It does take uh, 32,000 liters. But I mean, this is going to be enough for us, because 32,000 liters? However, using that for water over here would not be a bad thing, because they do drink quite a bit, those cows. As you can see, they've been multiplied. They're humping like Irish all over the place, like little rabbits. So, um, yeah, the big tank over here, but still for the milk. Let's uh, go to Carlos. And let's buy, let's buy the, the small one. Uh, however, I'm just thinking, like, what place does give us the most for milk? 1300 the restaurant? It does make sense. They do pay quite a bit of for the eggs as well, uh, as they did last time, I guess. But 1300 for milk, that, that, that will be almost 21,000 uh, bucks just for the milk we've got. We have just do two runs, back and forth, back and forth. Let's, let, let's see. If that will be the case. Beacons on. Okay, this is a tough cookie. Like, I'm here with the, with the, with the John Deere, right? So I guess we're going to get the small one. 25k. We've got it. Main color. Uh, it is chrome, stainless steel, or black. E, that's kind of shabby, I guess. And is that even more expensive? Uh, I kind of like, uh, like this one. The chrome one. Please do. Please do. And how do we look? Well, pretty much as the picture, I guess, right? The only thing I really hate about those trailers is uh, is reversing with them, because having the like the, the the dolly turning dolly, it's just terrible. Well, I'm terrible at it. 
It is so shiny. Uh, what is that? Static image. Where's Carlos? Where's the palm trees? Ah, it doesn't really matter. So, 1300 bucks for milk for 1000 liters at the, at the restaurant. I know I'm dipping all over the place. That sounds terrible, by the way, uh, the dipping part. But I want to see, like, I want to see, experience as much as I can of the game. Like, all the bits and pieces, all the little elements uh, of every single aspect. So, obviously, we're going to get into the, the sheep business, the wool. We're also going to get uh, the pigs, I guess. What do they produce? Do you kill them? Is that meat? It's got meat, right? Who knocked down that sign? Well, it might have been me. And you guys, if you know about the weeds, please let me know. Because, um, yeah, like, I mean, it's not a big deal. It's a small field. So doing the, the, the weeding over there is not going to take that much time. But, but still. <laughs> Why do they have a static image on the trailer? Oh, it is. The, look at that. That's the grain elevator. I really, really like my little farm. It's just, I don't know, it's cozy. Uh, it does have a beautiful atmosphere, especially like just coming in, just welcoming. Uh, however, can I squeeze? Can I use the John uh, John Deere over here? John Daria squeezes in like there was no tomorrow. Perfect. So what I do? I think I just drive over here. And can I just do R? Yes. And uh, milk is coming in, in masses. Do you think that guy is still costing me money? It's a... Uh, it's a beautiful piece of machinery. It's like a huge maze my farm at this stage. But at the same time, a beautiful maze. Who screwed out the pile over here? Was it that you? Oh no, we need to bail this as well. And what did you miss over there? That doesn't make any sense, Bob. Oh no. Okay, Bob is gone. I was like, is he sitting there and taking money still? But no, he's gone. I guess he got a little bit uh, restless. And by the way, you know the bicycle we stole a couple of episodes ago? We stole the bag, that is. It's gone again. I put it in a small trailer over there with the eggs, uh, and it's gone. They took it back once more, so they came all the way to my farm and stole the bicycle again. Zzz. I'm lost for words, okay? Perfect. Now, let's sell the milk uh, at least once, and I can do the, the second one off camera. Not sure how long I've been recording, but it kind of feels forever, and there are so many micro tasks. Haven't really got much done in today's episode, besides derping around all over the place. But life as a farmer, ladies and gentlemen, life as a farmer is a never ending story. But let's head to the restaurant and sell this milk. Do you deliver milk the same way as everything else? Yeah. How does it even... Hmm. In terroristing, how much cash will we make? Hopefully enough. 10k? 10.5k. So yeah, that's gonna be 21k. A little bit more, to be honest. Like 23k maybe if we sell it all. But uh, I guess I'm gonna do two runs. Uh, I'm gonna do the next one uh, off camera in between the episodes. Can, can I that's kind of perfect, right? Boom! Done it! Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Kiralis. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, make sure you hit the like button. And I'm gonna see you guys in the next episode of Farming Simulator 19. But I think we've made, well, we made a tiny bit of progress here and there, I guess. But we got two new trailers. Uh, what else did we buy? We bought ourselves a beautiful truck. A Maz. And we also got the uh, Skid... Uh, steer loader 
which is going to be super handy at the farm. So thank you so much. See you guys in the next episode. Bye, everybody.